Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. Today we're going to do one of my granddaughter, next to my youngest granddaughter's favorite pound cake. A lot of times if she's off from work, she'll call me up and want to have a, a movie day and then we'll have a, I'll fix her this cake and lunch for her and we have a good time watching a movie sometimes. We had this house built 45 years ago and this is a mixer that we had built in and I don't use it if I'm having heavy things to mix, but things like this, cakes and everything, I use it all the time. It has all the attachments here, it works fine. This is a very easy cake to do. So first of all, we're going to do a, a Doug and Hines yellow cake mix. Okay, we're just going to dump that in the mixer. Next, we have Jello instant pudding mix. Now, I found any pound cake that has this instant pudding in it, you're pretty much going to have a, a cake that's real moist. And I like to use those. Next, we got uh, one cup of uh, vegetable oil. We use Crisco. And the reason I'm telling you about brand names, it makes a difference, I think, in your recipe if you get used to using a certain brand. And I use Crisco a lot. So I'm using one cup of Crisco. I'm using four eggs. I got these eggs at room temperature too. They do better if you do that. I, I use um, a lot of eggland eggs and I don't have to watch them. I'm afraid they're gonna be bad eggs. I don't think I've ever found a bad egg in them. Add the eggs, half a cup of vodka, a cup of orange juice, and that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is... I really like this uh, built-in mixer. It's, it's, it's out of the way to not stuff up on the counter. That's what I like. I really don't care about a lot of stuff being on my counter. Before this cake got its name, uh, I've made it for years. This is what my granddaughter likes. This is her favorite cake. Okay, we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 50 minutes. I will be back with you in 50 minutes to see how the cake turns out. Okay, we're going to do the uh, orange frosting for the pancake. We're going to use one cup of sugar, uh, confection of sugar, and we're going to use two tablespoons of orange juice. And that's all there is to it. That's it. Our frosting is finished now. We'll get our dump, put our cake on the cake plate, and then we'll drizzle this over it. I use this mixer for all kinds of, uh, it's not a really heavy mixer. Like if you're going to do breads and stuff, I have a KitchenAid out back that I use for that. But this is great. See, when you get ready to store it, you just push a button and it goes down in the counter. Uh, I like that because it's out of the way, you know, it's not. Okay, our frosting is ready to drizzle over this. I hope I didn't get it too thick. This is confection, sugar and orange juice is all it is. Real easy to make. We'll let that run down in the sides. My little great grandson said this cake, he'd probably call it a volcano cake. <laughs> but we really do have a, I have a recipe for a volcano cake. We'll make it one day if y'all like to see it. That's a uh, all today and I appreciate you watching. Hope you join us again for another family recipe.